Hello, dear students. Welcome to our online English school. Today, the topic of our lesson is modal verbs can and could. Let's start. Listen to the instructions, please. Listen and watch. Good morning from New York. So why are you in New York today? Because I love running. And can you run 42 kilometers? Yes, it's difficult to run 42 kilometers, but I can do it. Do you run every day? Well, not every day. I usually run after work. I run 30 kilometers every week. Wow! When did you start? I started when I was 12. I ran at school and I was good at it. When I was young, I could run quickly, but I couldn't run many kilometers. Now it's easier. I can run more kilometers. That's great. I can't run one kilometer. Do you do any other sports? Yes, I usually go to work by bike. And sometimes I go on foot. Sometimes I walk or run. And can you swim? Yes, I like swimming too. I could swim when I was five. But I don't swim to work. <laughs> well, thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Read and match. There are five pictures and five sentences. You need to match the pictures with the sentences. Let's read the first sentence. When I was young, I couldn't run many kilometers. In your opinion, which picture best matches this sentence? Next. I can't run one kilometer. How do you think? Which picture best matches this sentence? When I was young, I could run quickly. How do you think? Which picture matches this sentence? I can run 42 kilometers. How do you think? Which picture we should choose? I could swim when I was five. Let's check. Very good. Now, let's focus on modal verbs can and could. You will now watch video explanation on modal verbs can and could. Please, watch carefully and take notes. Lesson 20. Modal verbs. Can and could. Do you like sport? I can swim, but I can't play tennis. My wife likes jogging, but she can't run very fast. What sports can you do? We use can to express skills or abilities. Look at the statements. I can swim. I can help you. We make negatives by adding the word not. She can run very fast. She cannot run very fast. She can't run very fast. We need to change the order of the subject and can to make questions. They can play tennis. Can they play tennis? Could is the past form of can. Look at the example. I could swim very well when I was younger. Could can also express request. Could you help me? I can swim. She can't run very fast. Can they play tennis? Now you will practice some listening exercise. First, listen to the instructions. Listen and choose. You need to complete these two passages with these words given. The words are swims, young, 15, 5, swim, 20, work, quickly, can. Are you ready? Let's start. Can you swim? Yes, I can. When did you start? I could swim when I was five, but I couldn't swim very well. And can you swim very well now? Yes, I can, but I don't swim very often. I swim in the holidays. 
What about walking? I know you sometimes walk to work. Yes, I do. I walk 15 kilometers every weekend. Could you walk 15 kilometers when you were younger? Yes, I could. I could walk 20 kilometers when I was younger and I could walk more quickly. It was easier. Now, let's check. Very good. Let's read what we have. She could swim when she was five, but she couldn't swim very well. Please pay attention to the use of modal verb could. Could swim. When she was young, she could walk 20 kilometers and she could walk more quickly. Could walk. We use modal verb could to express possibility in the past. Could swim, could walk. Now she can swim very well, but she doesn't swim very often. Please, pay attention to the use of the modal verb can. She swims in the holidays. She sometimes walks to work and she walks 15 kilometers every weekend. So, pay attention to modal verb can, can swim. We use modal verb can to express the possibility in the present tense. Listen to the instructions carefully, please. Look at the pictures, read and choose. You need to complete these two sentences with the best answer. Look at these two pictures. Let's do the first sentence. When he was young, he ran very quickly. Can, can't, could, couldn't. When he was young, he could run very quickly. Look at the second picture. Now he can, can't, could, couldn't. Now he can't run very quickly. Let's repeat. When he was young, he could run very quickly. Now he can't run very quickly. Next. Look at these two pictures. First picture. She swim very well when she was five. She can, can't, could, couldn't. Look at the picture carefully. The girl needs some help to swim, so she couldn't swim. She couldn't swim very well when she was five. Look at the second picture. Now she can, can't, could or couldn't. Now she can swim 10 kilometers. She couldn't swim very well when she was five. Now she can swim 10 kilometers. Next picture. Look at these pictures. What is the girl doing? Yes, she's sitting on the tree. Let's complete the first sentence. When she was young, she climbed trees very well. She can, can't, could, or couldn't. Could. When she was young, she could climb trees very well. Now, look at the second picture, please. What is she doing? And now, she climbed mountains too. She can, can't, could, or couldn't. She can. And now she can climb mountains too. Let's see what we have. When she was young, she could climb trees very well. And now she can climb mountains too. Very good. Next picture. Look at this man. What is he doing? Let's complete the first sentence. I ride a bike many kilometers now. I can, can't, could and couldn't. I can ride a bike many kilometers now. Look at the second picture. What is the boy doing? The boy is crying. 
When I was a child, I can, can't, could or couldn't. I couldn't ride a bike very well. I can ride a bike many kilometers now. When I was a child, I couldn't ride a bike very well. Well done! Let's practice some grammar exercises with modal verbs can and could. For each question, you need to choose the right answer. Let's look at the first question. Can I borrow, to borrow, borrowed, borrowing this book? As you remember, when we make questions with modal verbs can or could, we should use the infinitive form of the verb. So the answers to borrow, borrowed and borrowing are wrong and we should choose borrow. Can I borrow this book? Let's listen and check. Can I borrow this book? Very good. Let's look at the next question. Can I not? Can't I? I not can. I can't understand this text. As you see, here we have a negative sentence. When we make negative sentence, we should use can and not. So this is a sentence. It is not a question, so we should choose I can't. I can't understand this text. Let's listen and check. I can't understand this text. Very good. Next. Can you hearing hurt hear to hear? It is the same as in question one. We should use the infinitive form of the verb. So we should choose hear. Can you hear this music? Let's listen and check. Can you hear this music? Very good. Now let's reflect on modal verbs can and could. Look at the table, please. Here you see three types of sentences. Affirmative sentence, negative sentence, and question with can and could. First, look at modal verb can. To make an affirmative sentence with can, we should use can and add verb in the infinitive form. For example, Kate can swim. Now look at the could please. Could is the past form of the modal verb can. To make an affirmative sentence, we use could and add verb. For example, Kate could swim when she was five. Very good. Now let's look at negative sentences. To make a negative sentence with can, we use modal verb can, add negative adverb not and add verb. For example, my cannot run fast. Also, please pay attention to the short variant of cannot, can't. Mike can't run fast. When making negative sentences with could, we use could, add negative adverb not and add verb. For example, Mike could not run fast when he was a child. And also, Look please at the short variant of could not, couldn't. Mike couldn't run fast when he was a child. Now let's revise how to make questions. When we make questions with can and could, in the question, we first use can, then add pronoun or noun, add verb, and then add other parts of the speech. For example, can you play tennis? Here we see can, then pronoun you, then verb play and other parts of the speech. Can you play tennis? Yes, I can. Or no, I can't. The same rule we use when making questions with could. We use could, add pronoun or noun, add verb and other parts of speech. Could you play tennis when you were young? Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. Very good. You did a very good job today. See you next time. Goodbye.